Well, good to have you back, Jaeger. And congrats on the pizza. I, I could go for some pizza right now. Which I don't know if I shared this with you guys, but I think I have officially become old. Because, um, I was at the grocery store the other day. And, uh, like I was walking through the bread aisle. I usually get bread just so I can make sandwiches and stuff. I was walking through the bread aisle. And, uh, I had... I saw bagels, and I was like, you know what would be really good? It's some cream cheese bagels. And that's like the official old people food. And so I got cream cheese and bagels, and I've just been eating cream cheese bagels for breakfast for the last couple of days. And it's good! I don't know why I had a craving for it, but I did. Oh, I, I made a boo-boo. I accepted a thing. I didn't mean to accept that thing. Son of a bitch. But we have a quick draw. Um, I mean... Eh? I'm not a huge fan of the quick draw, to be honest. I don't know if it's, like, better in in uh, Mech Warrior, but it's not a great mech. Could still use it, though. It's a 60 tonner, although we're not really in the missions where we can afford to start taking heavy mechs on every mission. Um, it's also almost 6 million. What do you think, chat? Buy the quick draw or no? The massive sword quick draw? Well, it doesn't tell me what size melee slots that it has. But we already have some melee weapons. Yeah, it, it's it basically just a missile boat. I mean, it's fast for a heavy mech at 81. But uh, I think it's about the only thing it's got going for it. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with my biases on this one, chat. I, I don't- I don't really want a quick draw. But we had to see. We had to see what it was. Uh, let's see. Where's a decent conflict zone? Uh, we could go back here. Um... We could head up to this mission, but man, that's a long way to go. Increase your reputation. Oh, this is Legend of the Kestrel Lancers. Yeah, I wasn't really interested in doing that one. Eh. I guess we can go to wherever this is. We need to go to Merrick Territory or we need to go to Refugee Hideout. Whoops. So let's see. We're looking at... Refinery systems. Refugee hideout. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know if we have any missions in that direction, but let's go check it out. All right, so we got no missions on this planet. We do have missions on other stuff, though. Let's see, black market, multiple mission operation. Let's go here. We need a hero. I mean, I wouldn't turn down a hero mech. I just, again, I don't know where they are. I don't know how to get them. Three locusts? Well, would have been nice if I hadn't just gotten rid of a bunch of locusts. But that's okay. 
Um, sadly, the Warhammer is still not ready yet. But let's have a look at it. Well, you know what? We got the black market. Let's let's see what's on the black market first. Um, another AC twenty, medium rifles. Nothing that's really speaking to me. Objective raid. Go to refugee hideout, collect a thing. So let's see if this is the thing that we need to collect. Mind the weather, commander. It'll compromise your visibility. Fire engine is too damaged for the deployment. You are correct. Uh, however, I do not want to bring the fire engine. I want to bring the warhammer. Which is going to put us over tonnage. And that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Feel like out of the three mediums that we're currently fielding, I like the Griffin the least. And sadly, that only leaves us twenty-five tons. So if we take the if we take the Warhammer, we have to leave something else behind, and that's no good. So, no Warhammer this mission, I guess. So, we will put the Griffin back in. And I guess I'll take the Enforcer. Why not? We're still over ton. Son of a bitch. Alright. Uh... Guess we'll put in another Centurion, and then we gotta drop five tons. I guess the Vulcan is the play, which I'm not crazy about the Vulcan, but I think that's the only way that we get it. Well, let's see. He, he, he might be right. If he can deploy over ton, let's see how it affects the rewards. If we take the Griffin, that's going to put us five tons over. You know what? I'm okay with that. That's not a huge hit. Let's do it. Yeah, we've only found one Hunchback so far, but uh, I'm, I'm not opposed to a Hunchback goon squad. We've been if the opportunity the presents itself. Alright, let's see. So we got the AC-10. We don't actually have a lot of ammo, but we should be okay. Uh, we also got a large laser, so I need to I need to change my weapon groups here. I always want the AC on number one, and we're just gonna go ahead and put this on number two, because I I'm gonna I mean it doesn't does it matter? It doesn't really matter, does it? There we go. So I just gotta remember, my medium laser is on my special button. Alright, you donkeys, let's go blow some shit up. That's what we do. Intel puts one of our targeted acquisitions somewhere in this location. If you get the chance, try searching for it in the area designated on your map. Uh, so that's... Yeah, that's all the way on the other side of the map, Rihanna. I don't know what you're smoking. Oh, Rihanna here. Turret? Vehicle? Vehicle. We do indeed. Eliminated. Well, that hurt. Good. Because that dude just chunked a bunch of my armor. I was not expecting random minigun Irby to come around the corner.
What else we got? Oh, we got some here. Uh, let's say... Blam. Now, where did that tank go? Oh, he's still out there. Well, never mind. He's not out there anymore. Good God, that guy hurts. Go get him, boys. That's one thing I don't like about taking heavier mechs is I don't have as much uh, agility and maneuverability as I would like. Well, that Irby's having a bad day. Oh boy, the big guns that shake my screen the whole time. Alright, let's get in here and steal the stuff. I feel like you could find a better way to steal a bunch of stuff than sending in people in battle mechs. But at the same time, it's hard to argue that you're not stealing stuff in style when you're basically rolling up in a medium mech to commit burglary. Ah, uh, let's see, where are you at? Did you get him? Did you guys kill him? This is true, bro, Prestigus. There there are few few problems in Battletech that an AC-20 cannot solve. I I I don't like the screen shake. Let's let's go check out the secondary objective at least. Oh hey, look at that! Some secondary loot. I do like extra loot. And that is. Oh, it's only a tier zero large laser. Get the fuck out of here with it. I mean, it's still free, but it's kind of disappointing. We're doing some Skyrim mountain climbing here, Chet. Alright, let's get over here and see what the secondary is about. Alright, is this gonna be better than the garbage that you just gave me? Oh, hi, Mark. Alright. Now. Uh, well, we did damage, but not quite enough. Oh my. Good lord, what is this tank? Oh, that's why. The Partisan puts the tank in tank. It doesn't have a whole lot of redeeming qualities, but the amount of punishment it can take is definitely one of them. And I see you, Bland Aid. Hydration incoming.
All right, let's see here. I feel like we're gonna have to crawl up this hill to get to the last objective. I mean, we did go down a cliff in order to get down here. I mean, you're not wrong, track tension, but at the same time, I've kind of gotten accustomed to the idea of basically having to do everything myself. Screw that guard tower specifically. Uh, hopefully this is the way up. Question mark? Alright, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Well, that sounds like a dropship, but it might be the cannon. It's hard to tell. Normally they're pretty good about letting me know when a dropship is landing. Don't shoot me in the back, you donkeys. Alright, let's see what we got here. I think we, we mostly cleared this place out already. So unless they drop some more people on us, there's not really a whole lot that needs to happen. Yeah, pathfinding uh, would probably be one of the... One of the major things to add to the mod list. I don't know if there are any mods that improve pathfinding, but... I certainly wouldn't turn it down. Okay, so now we evac. Which, incidentally, is literally back the direction that we came. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, shut up! That's one less, at least. Come on, come on. There we go. Alright, well that's a mission accomplished. We didn't steal some stuff. Again, petty larceny. Not exactly what I was expecting on the docket. Man, look at that. Look at that. That mech looks like about 10 miles of bad road. And all we're getting out of it is some urban mechs. I mean... Listen, chat. Hear me out. If I take both Irvies... That allows us to field an entire lance of urban mechs. I'm not saying I want to do it. Because we would have to fix them all. Now we've obviously got to take the AC-20 burst fire. There's no AC-20 ammo. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go with it. Yeah, it would take an entire stream to complete a mission. That's, that's the main reason that I don't want to do... Uh, it's the main reason I don't want to do an urban mech, because uh, it's so frickin' slow. And we got more missions here at the cantina. Let's see. Kill fire starters, kill harassers, kill missile carriers. Oh, we can get an AMS from this. I mean, I don't know how effective AMS is in uh, Mech Warrior, but be fun to play around with. Alright, so, first things first, I'm the realist. We gotta repair everything. 
but yeah, this this will uh this will allow us to have the full full yeah, uh, urban mix. Are we gonna go with the memes or not? Is the question. The Warhammer's also fixed up. But let's see. We we got more contracts here. In this case, it's an infiltration. Visibility's restricted. Let's see. So they're not telling us exactly what we're doing, but if I remember the last time... If I remember the last time we did an infiltration mission, it was basically just sneaking around. Which I'm not opposed to. But we're definitely going to do sea bill payout if that's the case. Because we basically Five salvaged years, nothing Extreme the last time around. conditions means you'll be dealing with limited visibility and compromised sensors on this mission. So we will we will definitely take light mechs across the board for an infiltration. Uh, oh no! I I accidentally sold our Jenner. Son of a bitch. That was unintentional. All right, Swift Trouble. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully you have a good dinner. And if you decide to come back, we should... Uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we'll be playing when you get back. But if not, have a great rest of your Saturday and an outstanding weekend as well. Um, I guess we... Uh... Maybe we just go in with two mechs. I mean, if we're not going to get into combat, does it really matter? I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll bring some heavy mechs. We'll bring some heavy mechs, but we're going to do it... Just in case we need them. And I'm just going to have them hold position. I track tension will same to you again as always thanks for hanging out and uh hopefully you enjoy the dinner or whatever it is that you're off to and if we don't see you before the end of the stream hopefully we'll catch you next time but again thanks for hanging out thanks for sending some time with us again Well, uh, Jaeger, sadly, I'm not able to rename pilots in the vanilla version of the game. Um, there are mods that will allow us to do it. So when we actually get around to, like, a modded playthrough, I'll, I'll definitely be putting some folks in the game. I know this is supposed to be a hellstorm, but it sounds like rain. Or I can just tell him to stay here. Alright. Let's see what we're doing. We are... Er, proceed to the next nav point. Alright, well that's not super helpful. It's an Irby. Well, that's not how I intended that to go. I forget that in Battletech, at least Mech Warrior, you don't really control the movement of the mech in flight. You have to, like, already be moving in the direction that you want to go when you hit the jump jets. It's definitely something I gotta get used to. On your map, I've marked the location of some valuable supplies. 
that our employer would like liberated. Our client would like us to scout the Op 4's battle mech forces while we're in the field. Attempt to sensor lock each mech you come across without alerting them to your position. Okay. We were just looking at a mech a minute ago. So hopefully from an elevated position, I'll be able to sensor lock these donkeys. Oh. There we go. I think you're in the clear. No alarms raised. Target acquired. Weapon safe. Stop firing. You dumb motherfuckers. Well, our genius combatants just shot at the enemy, and now they know we're here. And there's no fucking way that I can kill all of these donkeys before they radio in for help. So, uh, that's an infiltration failed. Yeah, these guys are like going up the hill. Uh, well, so much for that. That's okay. If I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really feel like spending 30 minutes running around anyway. God. Oh, you dumb shit. Man, I swear to god, I feel like these- these AI are getting dumber and dumber with every mission. Moving into formation, Commander. Oh, well, I guess they still want us to steal the stuff. But that I can do. That I can do. Uh, Asuka, I'm not entirely sure yet, but so far, lights have been viable from the beginning. Uh, we got... what do we got behind us? A Blank Jag, a Vulcan, a Locust. Well, a locust, I'm not worried about. Get him, boys. Get him. Oh my, they're getting very, very thick. We, we are getting some thick and veiny reinforcements, chat. Holy crap, I was not expecting... What? Oh my god, look at how many mechs there are. Sweet Christ. Yeah, these boys are not messing around. Our assigned mech target is on the field. Let's take it down. Killed a mech. It's very not good. Very not good. The AI has completely screwed us on this mission. Big just fell on me. Data transfer complete. Nice to have some extra ballistics. Next scrap. Uh, let's collect the thing. Suck it. Okay, we're we're getting the fuck out of here. Falling in far formation, Commander. Now 
No, no, no. Th this was not me. I did not do this. This was our dumbass AI companions. Well, I guess technically it's my fault. I should have put them on hold fire. I didn't. And then they said, oh, look, an enemy. Let's just fucking shoot at him because how does infiltration work? So my, my fault for expecting the AI helpers to help. Or at least not make things more difficult. Yeah, well, serves you right. I say that, I'm gonna be the one that has to replace all that shit. You are an idiot. And something tells me you are the reason we're getting attacked anyway. Alright, let's see. Up and over, up and over. Is, it, is there any way... Oh, are we really... We're gonna have to go the long way around? Alright, alright, alright. No F you. Well, there goes an arm. What a clusterfuck. I mean, I knew that infiltration missions can go bad in a hurry, just from like watching other people play MechWarrior 5, but I was not expecting our people to screw up this badly. So, uh, color me surprised. Color me surprised. Oh look, there goes the other arm. My goodness. We've completed our scans on the target's local bottleneck forces. My the goodness. Ah, uh, this is campaign. Center. Yeah. And Erst gifted a sub to Sinner. Erst, thank you so much for the generosity once again. Again, Erst is our role today. And Sinner Beta, welcome to the Cult of Bad Tactical Decisions. We are glad to have you. Please enjoy uh, the terrible tactical decisions uh, us getting blown up. And of course, enjoy the Ecto Cooler. I, I'm, I believe you're coming over from the YouTubes, if I'm not mistaken. In which case, welcome to a live stream. Glad you could join us on this Saturday, and hopefully your weekend has been going well so far. Of course, we're getting fuck all for salvage, because, uh, I didn't take salvage on this one. And, uh, yeah, we took five million sea bills and damages because of our dumbass pilots. And the fucking Warhammer that I just rebuilt got completely destroyed. Outstanding. Outstanding. You dumbasses. We learned a very important lesson today. And that lesson is... Fuck the AI. Future reference, infiltration missions go solo. Uh, I think what you meant to say is future reference, don't do infiltration missions. That's, that's basically what I got from this whole thing. Lesson learned. Uh, we are going to have to put the mechs that didn't get completely destroyed back together, though. Um, man, that is, that is immensely frustrating. But, live and learn. Uh, let's see, we got another conflict zone over here. 
Oh, well, that's, uh, that's a pretty significant increase in difficulty. Let's head in this direction. See what we get. Yeah, I'm sure there are mods to make the AI not as terrible. But again, I just, uh... I should have played smarter. I instead decided to do a dumb thing and I paid a dumb price for my dumbness. Again, live and learn. Live and learn. Let's see we Oh, what is this? Oh, that's just to buy. Okay. Well, I don't need that. I don't need it. I don't need it. And nothing really here that's speaking to me. All right. What 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 do you want from me? I don't want that. We're going to increase our reputation. So you'll leave me alone. All right. Well, chat, it's been a little over 3 hours, so you guys know what time it is. Uh, we're gonna take a BRB, I'm gonna get up, do some stretching, refresh the water, you know, the usual stuff. I recommend you guys do the same. Um, let's see, in the meantime, let's, 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 let's. I wanna give you guys some music. And let's get back to it, shall we? Let's see, let's see, what are you guys chatting about during the BRB? Uh... The, the classic discussions. So, this is, for those of you, because I know not everybody in the Battletech community is into anime. I know a lot of them are, but not everyone is. But this is, essentially... Th this is the shonen conversation. So, if I give I give anime and anime fans a lot of shit, and, and I say that because I am one. But I give anime fans a lot of shit, especially the ones that are, like, die-hard shonen anime fans, because, uh, you know, and I've said this before, if every discussion about your favorite anime or manga boils down to who would win in a fight, um, there's not a lot of depth there. And that is, this, this conversation is essentially the same thing, but for Battletech. The what's your favorite mech is essentially just a rephrasing of the which mech would win in a fight. And so that's, to me, it's always amusing to, to see those conversations where people, people pretend as if this is some huge philosophical debate. No, 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 no. And I promise that comparing your favorite shonen character to Goku from Dragon Ball Z or fucking what's his face from Bleach? I can't remember the main character anymore. Uh, it does not. That's not an intelligent conversation. Don't get me wrong. Feel free to have those conversations. But don't pretend like that's a deep or thoughtful conversation. Well, you're not wrong, Nocarian. There is, in fact, a, a difference between favorite mech and best mech. Um, you know, like, for example, my favorite mech is the awesome. Objectively speaking, though, the best mech is the awesome 10Q. But, you know, it's semantics, right? Like, everybody's got their opinion. All right, AFE, well, go, uh, go have dinner, enjoy, and uh, you are correct, the, the PPC Awesome is the best mech, objectively speaking. And uh, hopefully you enjoy your weekend if we don't see you again.
But anyway, enough enough of me spitting hot facts. Let's uh, let's get back to it, shall we? What do we got? Uh, this is another mission. Not really interested in that. So, um, now that we've completely screwed the pooch on this mission, let's see if we can go screw the pooch on another mission. Well, I see a rare mech and a rare weapon, so let's head over here first. I shouldn't be spending money since I'm about to have to spend a bunch of money to fix stuff. But I can't help myself. I just can't help myself. Uh, let's see. Sorry, but an SRM2 does not count as a rare weapon to me. I don't give a shit what kind it is. An Artemis LRM20, though, that could potentially be good if we were using a lot of medium lasers, which, or I'm sorry, long range missiles, which we're currently not. Um. Medium claw, though. Medium claw, though. I have to take it. And AC-20s, eh, alright. Um, and then we have a rare mech, a Phoenix Hawk. Again, in perfect condition. It might be better than the Vulcan that we've been running this entire time, but 5.2 million is, uh, is a pretty hefty price tag. For a mech that we will be outclassing in the near future. So no dice there either. Let's actually go somewhere where there's jobs to do. Uh, we got multi-mission operation times two and a targeted kill. Alright. So. Yeah, I mean, I know that there are some folks that swear by the Phoenix Hawk, but to me, it's another case of, like, for the tonnage that it costs, it doesn't do enough damage, it doesn't soak enough damage, and the ECM is either really good or really bad, depending how, depending on how the Battletech game in question handles ECM. Like, if the game handles ECM well, it can be super useful. But if it doesn't handle ECM well or doesn't account for it at all, then suddenly the one thing that makes that mech good is completely moot. See the Raven, for a great example. Like, the Raven is an outstanding white mech in a game where ECM actually matters. But since it doesn't really matter in Mech Warrior 5, the Raven turns out to be not a very good mech because the one thing it's designed to do, it can't do. Or at least can't do as well as it should. Alright, let's uh let's do targeted kill. Of course we're gonna take salvage. We'll fill out the rest with money. And we got 200 tons that we can take to the field. I refuse to believe that the remaining headpiece of a Warhammer somehow weighs 70 tons. Although we should make the jackass pilot take that thing into battle anyway. As a reminder. Yes, son of a bitch. I think we just take another Centurion. Like, I don't even care at this point. Like, two AC-10s. The, the Centurion, the A configuration is not bad at all. Let's do it. I, uh, Jaeger, you missed us jumping around to a bunch of stuff to find some missions. In order to evade us. The more locations on the map are the most likely areas where we'll find them. Alright. 
as they have many supporters in the area that are more than willing to die for their cause. And die for the cause they most certainly will. 3,000 plus meters. This is a very long and narrow mission of mission area. Well, I see buildings. There might be some loot over here. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Could be good. Could also be nothing. You never know. Oh, chat. We have made a huge mistake. I just realized, um, we've only got two flamers. Because I guess we, we didn't have the, we didn't have the right type of flamers to replace the ones that we lost. This is going to be a very interesting mission all of a sudden. That's one, if there's one thing that I've realized I don't like about the tier system, it's that. Like, it's really cool that the game will just automatically replace parts that you need if you have them. But it's really irritating that those weapon systems have to be the same tier, otherwise it doesn't actually do that. Will you stop it? No one likes you. Alright, now, let's go get this loot. Oh, there's a mech. We'll get him. I mean, Jaeger, the tier just basically improves the stats. It's not that hard to figure out what the what the tiers mean if you just compare the stats. The problem that I have with the tier system, though, if I like it, and I've talked about the tiers before, like, it doesn't really bother me. But the thing that does bother me about the tier system is this situation right here. Where, like, I go to fully repair the fire starter, but because we had tier 4 flamers, and we don't have any more, it just didn't replace those flamers. And, like, really, it should replace them with the next best tier that we have. Instead, it's just, well, you don't have the right tier, so we're just not gonna do anything. Like, that, that is not a solution, and that is not ever a thing that I want to do. There, there is never going to be a situation where I don't want to fill out the weapon slots on a May. For the record, these three bozos are still fighting a single Phoenix Hog. Uh, no, drone. If the weapon system gets destroyed, that's it. Uh, let's see, we're dealing with a Wolverine, a Locust, a Hunchback, another 4P Hunchback. And a Blackjack. Oh, and we're also dealing with some vehicles. Excuse me? I'm about to say. Hey, uh, would you donkeys like to come and give me a hand with this? I, I know that that one medium mech was a huge challenge for you, but if it's not too much trouble, I'd like you guys to do your job. Well, that was an interesting little thing.
return to crab. Everything return to crab. Y'all feel free to like take out an enemy at any point if it's convenient for you. Holy shit! I'm about to say I'm gonna burn this whole thing to the ground. We're gonna leg him, and then we're gonna core him. Once again, guys, if it's not too much trouble, if at any point you feel the desire to actually attack and destroy a target, I would not be opposed to the idea. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the voice lines. That I don't know if that's intentional or not. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come here, you. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got the legs. There we go. Well, that was rough. Yeah, like I said, I, I feel like... As we get further and further into the campaign, my frustration with the AI seems to be growing. Like, not the AI in general, but it's just total incompetence in even the simplest stuff. Like, I shouldn't have to send a three medium mechs to destroy a Phoenix Hawk. And if I do, it shouldn't take ten minutes for them to do it. But that's okay. That's okay. Alright, what do we get? We get... Ah, uh, you know what? A Shadowhawk wouldn't be bad, a Crab wouldn't be bad. The problem is we're gonna have to rebuild these damn things from scratch. So I don't think we'll do that. I think we'll just end up selling them. But, uh, let's see here. We, we definitely need to actually replace these weapon systems. Since apparently the game doesn't know how to do that. Alright, there we go. That'll take care of that. Ah, uh, let's see. The Centurion should be fine. The Wolverine... I... What what else what what else can we do with this Wolverine? Let's see, we got Sarge Arg. I haven't played vanilla in so long I don't remember if there's a warning or not, but I seem to remember when you hit the repair button on loadout. Yeah, it, it that's probably the case. Um, it's very likely that it gave me that warning and I just fast forwarded through it, but like to me it's one of those things where Yeah, it's fine if you give me a warning, but Rather than it be a warning followed by no action Like there should never be a point where if I have the same weapon system, but a lower tier that the game doesn't replace it 
Um, that's just my opinion, of course. But like, if I have extra parts, the game should never rebuild the mech without those parts if they're available. You're right, I can give it claws. Or not, apparently? No, because it, for whatever reason, all of the medium weapons are all huge. And I don't know why. And it's actually extremely frustrating as well. Like, we got the hammer fist. But uh, that's about it, sadly. I bought the claws because I didn't know how big they are. Because for whatever dumbass reason, the game doesn't tell you how many slots a piece of equipment occupies before you buy it. So even though it says it's a medium claw, it takes up three critical slots. So as you, as you can clearly tell, when my third stream of MechWarrior 5, I'm already starting to like understand the things that I find frustrating about the game, and that's one of them. Like when I'm in the shop, if I'm in the shop here, like the, the market, and I go here, it doesn't tell you like how many slots these weapon systems occupy. Now, the workaround for that, and I know some people will be there to point it out, is the, the workaround to that is if you do it from here. Like, if you're in the market and you say, I want melee weapons, then it'll absolutely show you how many slots each item takes up. But I shouldn't have to do it from here to have that information. Like, if I'm in the equipment here, I should still be able to see. Like, just add a little thing on the side that says, Three critical slots, two critical slots, whatever. It's it, it's odd. It's an odd design choice. To me, at least. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's repair these mechs. Let's repair these mechs. Um, these guys did not actually take that much damage, so there's not a whole lot to do with them. I don't know if the... Sh I mean, the Shadowhawk really isn't worth putting back together, I don't think. Let's just sell it. Um, I really want to put the Warhammer back together because the Warhammer is a good mech. It's just, I'm still super pissed. <laughs> like, the one mission we took this thing out on, the guy basically got it completely blown up. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see. If we were going to put together... Yeah, that's going to be very expensive. Is it worth it? Let's have a look. Eh. I mean, a 4P is a good mech. It is a good mech. I think we'll go ahead and put it back together. It's going to be expensive because we're in a combat zone. Yeah, the, the problem with the Warhammer, for those of you that were not here, um, we went on an infiltration mission, and because I made the mistake of not putting my people on hold fire, this jackass decided to fire at distant enemies with the PPCs, which then started off a chain of events that had, you know, 10 or 12 mechs bum-rushing us. And because this is a heavy mech, and it's slow, um... He was not able to get away from those mechs, and he got cored. And that was literally the first time we fielded the Warhammer. We spent, you know, 2.3 million C-bills putting it back together just for him to immediately get it blown up. And that was the day that we learned to never, ever take another infiltration mission. Speaking of, this one has an infiltration mission in it, so we're not doing that one. But we got Garrison Duty in Warzone. I don't know what Warzone is, but we'll we'll see. Hold on. Uh, let me make sure that we have enough mechs. We're going to need to fast forward a little bit. And then we'll go back in. Is in now we should have enough battle mechs that we can do two missions back to back.